Hey everyone, welcome to another easy graphic eyeliner tutorial on hooded eyes. Because of how much love I have received on my previous blue graphic eyeliner video, I decided to share more graphic eyeliner looks with you. That is why in this tutorial, I want to demonstrate three different styles of graphic eyeliners. We're going for very easy ones that do not interfere with the hood, which is the excess skin that covers our lid space on open eyes. The excess skin is responsible for the popular crooked eyeliner look on open hooded eyes. So the best way to create a flawless, even and elongating eyeliner is to avoid the hood. Are you ready to challenge your hidden artistic skills? and figure out how to apply graphic eyeliners flawlessly on hidden eyes, then let's get started. So as I'm going for three looks, I do not apply mascara to my lashes so I can remove the looks easily before going to the final look. Before we get started, it is important to prepare your lid like always. First of all, apply an eye primer by Urban Decay called Primer Potion all over the lid. Then neutralize the discoloration on the lid with a concealer by Maybelline Fit Me in the shade number 20. I set the concealer with a setting powder by Laura Mercier and I'm basically ready to start with the eyeliner application. In this tutorial, I go for a white felt tip eyeliner by BH Cosmetics. Honestly, I do not like felt tip eyeliners as they dry fast and they're just not as intense and fluid as dip-in eyeliners. But unfortunately, this was the only white eyeliner I own at the moment. For the first eyeliner method, we go for a wave-like line while placing the eyeliner close to the nose bridge right above the crease fold and the excess skin. We apply a quick line while not pressing too hard against the skin, just let the tip of the eyeliner lightly touch the skin. Now we wait until the line is dry and shake the felt tip eyeliner in between to make it wet again. Then we continue intensifying the eyeliner while going over it and extending the outer edge of the line. Try to make the line more narrow at the tail. Go back to the beginning point of the eyeliner and extend it as well by also creating a narrow line that points into the direction of the nose bridge. As this graphic liner has a distance from the eye, we can wear false lashes without actually covering it. Since I want to demonstrate further eyeliner looks, I did not apply mascara on purpose. Instead, I went on applying the false lashes by Ardell called Mega Volume and the number 257. In general, when working with bright, colorful graphic eyeliner, it is better to go without falsies, just mascara or a pair of natural ones so that the eyeliner art can be seen on open eyes without the falsies covering it. In my case, it was the only new pair of false lashes I had. Worth mentioning is also that I did not apply eyeliner on my upper lash line, so actually a pair of falsies with volume look good as well. Let's switch to the second easy graphic eyeliner look. For this upcoming look you need to create the wave black line just like we did before and then we simply connect a line that starts from the outer edge of the eye up until the wave black line we have created previously. We let the strokes dry and go over them to intensify the application as well as extend the line further until the wing that has been created looks sharp enough. This is how the second look is created, again without interfering with the hood which makes the application so flawless on hidden eyes. For the third eyeliner look, I wanted to have some eyeshadow on my lid to make the white eyeliner pop out even more. I used the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette and start off with the eyeshadow shade Cherished. I go over my whole mobile lid and slightly into my crease fold using a blending brush. On top of Cherished, I now apply the shade Happiness, which is one shade darker and again go over my whole lid, but this time focus more on blending my crease fold to create a little depth. Finally, I switch the white eyeliner and start creating the flick of my liner while keeping my eyes open and looking straight into the mirror. Make sure you do not raise your brows, otherwise your eyeliner will turn crooked on open relaxed eyes. Extend your lash line by creating a line and now connect the line to your upper lash line. You can't wait on other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. Now line your whole upper lash line, applying small strokes until you reach the inner corner of your eye. Run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. 
listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life will chase it with you. You can't stop. Now when you close your eyes, you will notice a gap between the wing and the basic line. We simply connect the lines by slightly keeping our eyes closed. This method helps to avoid a crooked winged eyeliner and hidden eyes. We're not done yet since we need to make it look graphic. That is why we apply a line starting from the sharp point of the wing towards our nose bridge. The line is applied at once without any breaks. Once it is applied, we try to intensify the line and extend it further towards the inner corner. Make the ends of the wing and the graphic line look sharp and narrow for a more elongated look. As you can see, the eyeliner tip was getting dry, so even after shaking it, I had to stamp it on my upper lash line to intensify it. I did not have this issue with dipping eyeliners like the one from NYX called the Epic Rear Liquid Eyeliner. However, I managed to finish this look, so now I curl my lashes to lift them with a lash curler. Then I apply the Maybelline Sky High Mascara in zigzag motions. As you can see, I got some mascara transferred onto my lid, which does not look good on white eyeliner, but I just did not touch it since the eyeliner is waterproof and I would need to start all over again if I would have removed it. So if you plan to wear only mascara with this look, then make sure to use a mascara shield while applying mascara to avoid mascara transferring. I just applied my false lashes by Ardell and press them with my fingers against my lid and use a lash curler to press them together further with my natural lashes. Next, I use a beige inner cool pencil by Sense Cosmetics and line my waterline to make my eyes appear brighter. Then I spontaneously decided to apply mascara on my lower lashes and that is basically how I completed the third look. The third one was a bit more time consuming, but you can definitely wear it when you have more time to prepare. Which one was your favorite? Comment down below 1, 2 or 3 and let me know what you wish to watch next. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to practice maybe on your bare face to not get frustrated if it does not turn out flawless after your first try. Failure and practice is key to success, so do not give up. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to share it with your beloved ones. Also, I would appreciate it if you show your kindness by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Thank you so much and see you next Sunday.